Hi everyone, welcome back. We are on day eight. Even though the 14th of July, we're on day eight because we had a holiday last week. On our 24 day, one video every day, Monday through Friday in July to help you succeed in the life insurance opportunity or consider if this industry is a fit for you. Are you interested in getting your life insurance license? Are you confused about where to begin? What is the process and how long would it take and how much would it cost? If that's you, this video today will help you understand the process and have a step-by-step -step process that you can follow. As of today, you'll be on the path to join the greatest opportunity on the planet for someone who wants to be their own boss, own a skill set that allows you to own your own income, and be unemployable if that's what you choose. In this video, I want to go over the four things that you need to do in order to get your life insurance license, which is your license to sell life insurance, right? I have hired, trained, recruited hundreds of agents around the country over the years to sell life insurance. And I'm also an active producer. I put my name on applications every single week because I believe if you're going to lead others, you must be leading from the front. You cannot ask people to put on a life insurance uniform if you're not doing what you're asking them to do. No one wants to be anyone else's meal ticket. They are looking for a partnership, partnering in their success. I've got a team of agents that sell life insurance, so not only do I help people get their license, I also, myself and Angela, teach them how to sell it, and we do both face-to-face -face and virtual sales. I can tell you about 98% of our agents now are all virtual, and there's a reason for that, and I talk about that in my videos. Five keys to success in virtual selling. So step number one is you're required to take a pre-licensing course. This is usually done online at your convenience, and you're required to be in that course for 32 to 40 hours, depending on your Department of Insurance regulations. And step number two is you got to get a background check done. Step number three, then you have to apply for the license. You have to complete the final exam that the state has approved to be a final exam either through a company called Pearson View. Check with your state. Again, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Uh, for your recommended third-party vendor that facilitates that test. Some states are still doing it by proxy. You can do it at home. It's open book, which is great rather than going in person. So let's start with number one, the pre-licensing course. You're following along. That's step one. So the first step is to find a pre-licensing course for your state. Here you got some options. If you're okay with an online course, and some people are not, they think they're better off in person, and that's fine. You have to go find one of those. Kaplan does a few of those. Just go search and see what you can find for someone that's teaching that in a local area in a classroom setting. There are advantages and there are disadvantages to doing that. With an online course, there are a few you can choose from, and you can find them online as well. These pre-licensing course companies usually advertise their course for a life-only license somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 to $200. But if you go through a company, they can usually get that discount down to around 40 or 50 bucks for you. And we do the same here. In fact, right now, that course, like I said earlier, is free. You're going to want to take advantage of that immediately because it runs out in July 2024. We're having ongoing promotions all the time. And even when it runs out, the course is going to be somewhere around 30 or 40 bucks for you. So regardless of when you watch this video, I would go to my link, download the step-by-step -step instructions on how to sign up for a pre-licensing course and check out the price and then make your decision from that point. If you click on the link above me, you can always get the course, like I said, 100% for free this month in July 2024. And it runs out at some point. I'm just not sure exactly when that date is. Either way, if you get a discount code from myself or someone else, rather than going and buying it on your own, and you find a company to get started with, many have asked me, hey, Steve, if I use a company discount code, are you obligated to join that company once you get your actual license? And the answer is a resounding no. Even if you get it with that company, it's not like you can't go to work with somebody else. You can. Or somewhere else. Someone or somewhere. The choice is you. You own the license. And it was issued to you by the state, not by any company that can't attach that license. So you get the pre-licensing course, you go through it, and you complete it. The next step is they're going to want to do a background check. The background check, you can do that on your own. Or in most cases, when you get your fingerprinting done, you can request that they conduct the background check through that process, right? 
Check the process as recommended by your state department of insurance or on the video that I'm going to place in here. It shows you how to check your state requirements. Now, most states have certain disqualifications where they won't approve you. You can pass the state exam, but they won't approve you because of your background. So you're going to want to find out what those disqualifications are and some have disqualification periods. Some have seven years. And then again, any financial services, misdemeanors or crimes are disqualifying like money laundering, for example, or robbing a bank, things like that. So you're going to want to do that background check. But before you do that, you can also call the Department of Insurance Regulations to find out what those disqualifying factors might be. That way you're reasonably sure that once you pass the state exam, they will issue you a license. You haven't wasted your time going through all this entire process. Get down to the state exam, pass it, and then be disqualified because of something in your past that was a knockout. Let's talk about your state licensing. The Department of Insurance for your state will usually have a section on their website that will show you how to, you can go through a Schedule A fingerprinting session. But again, you can find out through the Department of Insurance website for your state. However, again, I recommend using this as your resource. It's easy to understand and to follow. So let's jump in that video right now. Okay, I want to shoot just a quick, short video to tell you where to go to find out your state licensing requirements. Now, this is basically the same website that I showed you on an earlier video, and I'll put it over here uh, on how to use my pre-licensing code, which in the month of July cuts off somewhere 15th to the 30th. I don't know, but right now it's 100% free to get your pre-licensing course in your hands and on your pathway to getting the life license. So jump on that right away so you can get it for free because it does run out. Uh, and then after that, it's $40, $30, $40, dollars, I don't know, whatever. So still a substantial discount from having to pay $199. Uh, again, I'll put that video up in here, upper right-hand corner if I have my finger in the wrong location. But let's go to ExcelSolutions.com, same website you would use in order to get signed up for your pre-licensing. Go up here to Insurance, hover your mouse over that, go to Licensing, all the way down here, Licensing by State. Now, I'm in Florida, so let's take a look at Florida. We want to go to Florida, click on that. Takes us this page. I get this question a lot from people that are trying to enroll. I don't recommend these premier or standards. You get a lot of bells and whistles and what have you. The, the exam is not that complicated. My suggestion would be to go and get just a pre-licensing for the life exam only and not pay the extra 100 bucks or 200 bucks for these flash cards and private classes and all that stuff unless you feel like you need them. I can tell you after watching hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of agents go through our agency, uh, just the life exam, of course, is fine. And my recommendation on how to, how to take the course is watch the videos, take the chapter exams, take the final exam in the pre-licensing course over and over. You can take as many times as you want to. And you miss questions. You know that now where your weak areas are. Go back and, and study those. Once you start passing that final exam in the pre-licensing course, 80% uh, or better, you're ready to go ahead and, and uh, sign up for the uh, to take the state exam. Now, I would also, because even since COVID, there's a big there's a big backlog on available times to take your test in still many states. I'd go ahead and book that test now. There's a couple things for you. One, it uh, it gives you a, a date rather than having to wait some states four to six weeks to get a, a slot to take the state exam, whether you're doing it in person or you're doing it by proxy online. It gives you a date. You now have a time certain date that you need to get through this course. Again, go watch my video called Desire. I've got people that can start pre-licensing and take two years. I've got people start pre-licensing and knock it out on the weekend. It comes down to how bad you want to get your license, get in this industry, and start earning money. That will drive you to complete this course because it's not fun. It is time consuming and boring. That's just the way it is but you had to push through it. And when I deal with things that I, I find boring and not fun, I want to get through them as fast as possible. I don't want to torture myself by going as slow as I can so that the pain lasts even longer. So go all the way down here at the bottom of the page, Florida Pre-Licensing, Florida Life Pre-Licensing, click on that. And that's where you're going to register for your pre-licensing course. We're not going to do that right now. Right here is where you would enter my uh, pre-licensing discount code. We want to go down all the way down the bottom of the page. Keep going, keep going, there it is. And you're going to have, if you chose, whatever state you chose, that will be there. Florida obviously won't be there unless you're in Florida and you chose Florida. Here's what it's going to give you all the information that you need. It's going to tell you that, hey, you need, to, you need to spend 40 hours in that course. Now, 
tip for you. How do, how do they monitor that 40 hours? They monitor that 40 hours by the movement of your mouse. So you just can't turn the video on or go to a chapter and go to lunch. If that mouse is not being bumped every once in a while, it takes that as you're not paying attention, you're not active, or you've left the room. All right. So the mouse has to be moving, uh, and that tells you that the computer that you're uh, that you're involved and you're active and you're engaged and you're intentional about about uh, learning the material. And the clock keeps going. Uh, as long as when that mouse stops, the clock stops. That's my point. So it tells you here um, what you need, the course requirements, the certificate information. It tells you where to schedule your your exam. Okay. It tells you the exam fees. And it tells you limitation on repeat examinations. There are no limited no limitations on retaking the exam, which I mentioned in the video today. That you know, just take it, and you know, if you fail, no big deal. Don't don't uh, look. This is this is a move towards a positive future, right? So don't stretch yourself out of that. You fail it, no big deal. Schedule it immediately. Go back and take it again. You know, eventually, you'll learn the answers to the questions. You'll be able to explain the concepts, and you'll pass. Uh, online project exams. So it looks like there's still, that is still available, so you can do that from home. Um, pass, your, pass your state exam, apply for your license. This is the, Again, I'm going to go through this with you on the video. Submit your, your fingerprints. Tells you where to do that at. Tells you the fees. Tells you the fees for the licenses. And then again, it tells you where the focus is for the exam. Now, I find this very helpful. Types of policies and, and features. Uh, 14 questions. 14% of the exam will be focused on those questions right there, and only 8% will be focused on the life and health. So these are very good. At, you know, look at you go down here to types of policies. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, it just gives you an idea of where the where you need to be sharp at, right? What you should be studying, so you're not wasting time studying things that won't be actually on the exam. There's a total of 100 questions. Uh, total scored questions is 85. And uh, you have an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm sorry, 120 minutes, two hours uh, to take the course, and you have to have a passing score of 70. Basically, a D in school, right? A D, maybe even an F, uh, and you pass the test. Again, down here, casualty insurance, property insurance, gives you the, it just tells you everything that you need to know, and it tells you how to get a hold of the governing agency of that state if you have any additional questions. So I wanted to kind of go through that with you. Uh, again, you can go up here and choose any state you want to choose. Let's go down to Texas, for example. Go all the way to the bottom of the page. And there's your state, your Texas exam, you know, your, your uh, requirements. Same thing. Tells you where the focus of the exam is going to be. So great resource. I hope that helps. Uh, give me a like uh, on this video. Share me some comments. Let me know what you'd like me to cover in future videos and we got a whole series of just you know considering the industry and then what it takes to get your license and then what you should be doing after the first in your first 90 days of uh, having your license so uh, my recommendation is to subscribe uh, ring that bell so you get instant notifications so you're aware especially if, if you're in this process right now if you're considering the industry or you want to get your license, these videos are going to, are designed to help you make those decisions and, uh, and keep going forward in your path to success. Hope that helps. Let's get on with the video. Okay, before we go on too far, I want to talk about the background check for a second because some people are not signing. Before we get to, before we, before we fin okay, so I get a lot of questions about the background check and why that is necessary. Look, we're, it's about protecting the people that you're going to be visiting with. You are becoming a trusted advisor. And in many cases, you are dealing with non-public information on someone, and they want to be certain you don't have anything that would prevent you from criminally getting your license. And that is to protect the public that you're going to be dealing with. Now that you've completed and passed the course, get the completion certificate, get your fingerprints done. Now, this is often missed by a lot of our own agents. It's because you took the test with the state and passed. Believe it or not, that does not mean the state assumes you want a license and they're going to issue one. You will now have to apply for your license through the State Department of Insurance website for your state. Or, I recommend through NIPR, which is a National Insurance Producers Registry, which is NIPR.com. And I'll place that also in the description. You go to NIPR and apply for your state license. Once you pass the pre-licensing course, 
final exam, most of the courses. So let's talk about some final tips, suggestions, or recommendations. Once you pass the free licensing course final exam, most of the courses have practice tests. The pre licensing course is intended to help you pass the final exam, which in many cases is done through Pearson View or some other standardized testing company. And every state is individually unique, so you have to find out from the Department of Insurance or through Excel Solutions, as shown in the video, and look up the state that you're going to want to get that resident license in. And lastly, if you have questions, give them a call. Or you can call Excel Solutions, the pre licensing company you chose. Or, better yet, if you've got a coach that you're working with, ask them for their recommendations and their tips and what your next steps should be. So in closing, to get your life insurance license, you have to complete a course and then do the background check, apply for the license, and pass the final exam. Four steps I promised you earlier. So the order that I recommend you do it is first do the course, right? While you're doing the course, you can do your background check. Once you pass this state exam, then you would go to NIPR and apply for the license. Now, in most states, this is the final exam, you only have to get a 70% or higher to pass, and you can take it several times if you fail. So if you fail it the first time, don't stress over it. You can retake it. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So that's how you obtain your life insurance license. There's a link in the description to download and print the roadmap if you would like to keep it in front of you. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to help answer those questions. My phone number is always at the end of the video, and it's always, well, most always, in the description as well as my email address. Check out my other videos. We have a playlist that's just dedicated to that process of deciding if this industry is for you. And if you think that it is, how to go through your licensing all the way to writing your first application. So thank you for investing your time watching this video. If you want to bless me and my efforts, give me a thumbs up or down. Any engagement works. Subscribe to your channel. Mash the bell so you get instant notifications. Because again, we're doing one video every single day the month of July, Monday through Friday. So 24, 25 videos, all focused on things that you need to know. Uh, if you're in this industry and struggling or if you're considering this industry. And if you want, leave me a comment and even make a suggestion for what you would like me to cover. That would be fantastic. And God willing, I'll see you on the next video tomorrow. See ya.